Hi students, in this video we are going to learn some important question for your exam. First question, metallic spheres of radii 6 cm, 8 cm and 10 cm respectively are melted to form a solid sphere. Find the radius of the resulting sphere they are asking. So they mean that they are just melting 3 spheres, they are recast into the one single sphere. We need to find the radius of the, the new resulting big sphere radius we need to find out. That is a question. Let us consider the big uh, sphere radius is capital R. The first sphere radius let us take it as R1 that is given as 6 cm. So first sphere radius is 6, second is 8 and the third one is 10 is given. So let us assume the second sphere radius is R2 that is 8 cm. Likewise for the third sphere let us consider as R3. That is a 10 cm. So all the three spheres they are going to melt. They are going to make a new one. That radius we are going to take it as a capital R. So here we need to understand which formula we must use. Definitely volume of all the three small spheres will be equal to volume of this single sphere. The capacity of the balls will be same. Capacity of all the three balls together will be equal to capacity of the big ball. So that's what we are going to write it now. Volume of. 3 spheres will be equal to volume of the resulting sphere. In a big sphere also you can write. Volume of resulting sphere. Per car parking. Car parking. Per car parking. Resulting sphere you just write it. Volume of the sphere formula we already know that. So volume of the sphere formula we already know that. 4 by 3 pi. For the 3 sphere we should write, let us take R1 q for the first sphere, 4 by 3 pi R2 q for the second sphere, 4 by 3 pi R3 q for the third sphere will be equal to 4 by 3 pi capital R q we should write. Look at all the 3 terms, everything 4 by 3 pi is common, let us take it outside, 4 by 3 pi we have taken out, remaining is R1 cube, R2 cube and R3 cube, R1 cube the value is 6. So let us write 6 cube, R2 cube 8, so let us write 8 cube, R3 is 10, so 10 cube will be equal to 4 by 3 pi capital R cube, we can write it. Now, children 4 by 3 and pi in multiplication, if you bring it to that side, it will become a reciprocal. So we can cancel this 4 by 3 and pi here because both are the multiplication of the sides. 6 cube 6 into 6 into 6, 216. 8 cube 8 into 8 into 8, 512. 10 cube 10 into 10 into 10 will give you 1000 will be equal to capital R cube. If you are adding we are getting 1728 that is your capital R cube. Children try to learn the cube value for up to 20 at least that will help you in your exam. If you know the cube value you can write it directly or else we have to go for the prime factorization. So this is a 12 cube value actually 12 cubes equal to capital R cube. So we can write it capital R is equal to 12 centimeter we can write it. If you don't know the value directly this is a way of doing. So 1728 let us take it as a prime factorization here. It's a last number is even number go by the two table. 8s are 16 balance 1. 6 times again 4 times. Now the next step again 4 is a last number 2 table. 2 4s are 3s are 2s are. Again by 2 table 2s are and the 16 times again by 216 we know that it is a 6 cube so 6 you will be getting 3 times you can write it if you know this cube value you can write it 6 cube here we have 3 times 2 so 2 cube 3 cube directly you can write you can take the common term again if you don't know the 6 cube value again you just go by the 2 table 1 time 0 8 because we are combining the 2 terms you just put the 0 here Again by 2 table, 54 times. Again by 2 table, 2 twos are 7 sir. 27 3 table, 9 times, 3 table, 3 times. So these are all the value we are getting. So 3, 3 times, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 times. So 6 times 2 and 3. So if after getting all the factors, see here children, this is R cubes equal to 1728. Now this is, R is equal to actually cube root of 1728 we should write. When the cube is coming to that side it will become a cube root. 
Now that 1728, the factors we got it here, that is 6 times 2. So 6 times 2 we got. And the 3 times 3 we got. So 3 times 3 you write it. Now since it is a cube root, once in 3 number, 1 number will come out. For these 3 twos, 1 2 we have to take it out. For these 3 twos, 1 more 2 we have to take it out. For these 3 threes, you have to take 1 more 3 outside. Now this is the value of your R. 2 2s are 4 and 4 3s are 12. 12 centimeter we are getting it correctly. If you know the cube value, if within a minute you can complete the problem. If you don't know, you have to go in the prime factorization method. If you feel the video is useful, give a like to us. Please subscribe our channel for more videos.